What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Have some side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I'm freezing, and I've got the heat up to like 75, which is abnormal for me, but and I still got my coat on. So that's that's where we're at right now. But just saying. So yeah, so um, free general reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. I received another channel. So I'm going to deliver the message. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bombdiggity.com. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. Just say yes. Okay, so I heard, um, it's a really good one. I heard through many series of chain events, someone's about to get their confidence back in a huge way. Um, um, game changing, life altering events are about to happen for this person in a very positive um, way soon. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. That's some strong, strong ass energy. Um, for some, it's a masculine, for some, it's a feminine. There has been many, many, many delays and stagnancies. Okay, for some of you guys, it's masculine energy. So, for some of you guys, you're a dude, for some, you're a chick. Um, but I heard there's been many, many delays in stagnancy, but basically you're about to get your oomph back. About to get your oomph back, baby. About to get your, ooh. You're about to get your oomph back. Just saying, just saying. That's awesome. The song is Epiphany by Mammoth, the, uh, W-V-H. Epiphany by Mammoth, W-V-H. Um, this is a song. So I think you're having an epiphany. Um, maybe you're having an epiphany. Uh, zinga, bazinga, light bulb moment, and it's causing you to get your own back, or about to cause you to get your own back. How that resonates. Um, I heard life altering, game changing events are about to happen for you in a very positive sense soon. Life altering, game changing events, baby. I mean, like big bazinga moments, big freaking bazinga moments. Like, oh. Big bazinga moments. Just saying, just saying. I mean, that's awesome. You go to bad sale. Whoever that's for. Extremes on the bottom of the deck. Number th 34 might be a very significant number in your life. Number 34 it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible social number. Possible green card number. Possible, uh, well, I said them all. 34. So life-altering, huge, positive, getting your off back energy. If that resonates for you. Uh, some of you guys, you're a dude. Some of you're a chick. So, um... In this aspect, I think extremes is the huge changes coming to your life soon. I don't think it's somebody going to extremes. Uh, hell, it may be. Um, in some of these cases, it might be somebody going to extremes and it benefits you, is what I'm thinking for some of you guys. Maybe somebody's going to extremes, but it's going to benefit you for some. For some, I feel the extremes energy could be um, the life-altering, positive, game-changing energy that's about to come towards you, which is going to be extreme, but in a very positive way. That's what I'm feeling for some. But you plug it in how it resonates. Just saying, just saying. Spirit messages you have for this. Rejection was your protection in the past. You are about to get many, many, many positive doors open for you soon. So many people know the truth. Oh, okay, I heard rejection was your protection in the past. You're about to get so many positive doors open for you soon. Um, so, yeah. So, whoever you are. So, you had some kind of rejection energy in the past um, in some shape, form, or fashion. And, you know, everybody gets rejected. Um, did I used to be the last person uh, picked on the kickball team in, like, sixth grade? 
yeah, I've been the last person. I've also been one of the first, um, depending, you know. Um, but I have been one of the last. I ain't gonna lie. Um, am I usually one of the people left out in social circles? Yes. I mean, I'm just using myself as an example because, I mean, I can use myself as an example. Everybody's different. I'm just, maybe that helps somebody out there. But what I'm saying is that I've been, I've been looked over for many things in the past. Many, many, many things. And I, you guys have too, is what I'm saying. Whoever this is for, you've been looked over. You've been looked over, passed over, um, rejected. Uh, maybe it was a job you were going for and they, they turned you down. They picked somebody else. Um, blase, blase, blase. Maybe you wanted to date somebody and they didn't want to date you. Um, it really could resonate a million, million different ways for million different people, however it resonates, with some kind of rejection energy in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's career, whether it's somebody withholding information, whether it was somebody not wanting to date you, um, blase, blase, blase. But some kind of rejection energy, but I heard it was for your protection, that basically things are about to start speeding up for you in huge positive ways. Light side being. Divine being, not low vibrational. Okay, I heard light side being, low, um, light side being high vibrational, you're not low vibrational. So whoever you are specifically, whoever this uh, message applies to, you are specifically not low vibrational. Because you know, I put, pull in some low vibrational peeps sometimes. You're not low vibrational. You're not, you treat people with honesty, respect, morals, values, integrity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you don't lie. Ooh. You don't lie and cheat your way to the top. Basically, you do it through hard work, through uh, morals, ethics, values, etc., etc., etc. You not you don't lie and cheat your way to the top. Basically, and oh my God, this next song is "Welcome to Paradise" by Green Day. You're about to be "Welcome to Paradise," baby. I heard very, very, very positive things are about to happen for you. You're a light side being, high vibrational divine being. So. You might have been low vibrational in the past, but you're not now. And I've been low vibrational in the past. I'm not, I mean, I'll be real with you, 100 with you. I've been low, low vibrational in the past. I just have. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, I mean, not extremely low vibrational, but I have been low vibrational. And I think everybody goes through that from time to time. I, you know, I've never known anybody to be high vibrational all the damn time. And that's just the truth. There's different levels to low vibrational. I will point that out there's different levels to low vibrational activity i've never been the lowest of the low like snot bucket energy that's just the truth for offer uh -uh, nay nay and nor will i ever um because that's just not who i am but i have been low vibrational and i'm just not i'm not i'm not gonna lie i have um but i feel everybody goes through that is what i'm saying there's different levels to this shit what level are you willing to go to basically what level are you willing to stoop down to what level are you gonna go to you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I look like a fifth grade with a bowl haircut over here. Okay, so yeah. Um, but we have the Welcome to Paradise by Green Day song. You're about to, for some of you guys, you could be going on a vacation. Um, or whatever is about to speed up very positively in your life in some shape, form, or fashion is going to feel like paradise to you, possibly. Um, it's real. That's beautiful, my dear. I mean, it could be a person, a people, place, thing, one or all those things. Um, but things are about to speed up for you in a positive way. Um, it could be connections in the universe. It could be con like connections with people. It could be a thing. It could be money. It could be, um, some of you guys in the energetic space, you're about to get your kids back. That's beautiful. Um, that would be paradise to me. Um, I'm sure it'd be paradise to some of you guys. Um, whatever it is to you is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, Congrats. Number 15 can be very positive. Um, not very positive. This is a great reading. This is a great reading. It's got me pumped. Just saying. Okay. So number 15 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 15, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social number, number 15, action reversed. You did not take action in the past, but some you just did, some you're about to, and it's about to benefit you in huge ways. Okay, I heard you did not take action in the past, some you just did, it sounds like in the energetic spaces, and some you're about to. 
Um, but the, whatever action it is that's about to help your life speed up in a very positive way, uh, whoever you are, specifically high vibrational person, um, whoever you are, I don't feel you go around having open marriages, open relationships with 10 third parties and 10 baby mamas. And I'm not downing baby mamas and open relationships and all that because I, I, I don't. I don't. I'm a, I'm a judgment-free zone over here. But how can you be a high vibrational being in the universe having an open marriage with 10 partners? How can you be a high vibrational being with 10 baby daddies or 10 baby mamas by 10 different people? I mean, and I'm not, I really am not judging when I say that, but I'm, I'm serious because that, that, that shows a picture of your life in a sense. And uh, somebody's getting a huge wake up call. Okay, I heard somebody's getting a huge wake up call. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. Yeah, but I'm serious because when you have like, for example, if you have 10 children by 10 different fathers or mothers, that says something about you. Um, it, it does. It says that obviously you've had at least 10 partners in the universe, at least 10, probably a lot more than that. And I mean, and things happen and things happen. And I'm not judging. I'm just saying it show, it does show a trend is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm not judging. I just want to be clear on this. But whoever you are, you are a high vibrational being. So whether you were low vibrational in the past and you're high vibrational now, I'm not sure, but you are high vibrational now. It's about to speed up for you, baby. For some, you've already taken action. Sounds like just recently taken action. For some, you're about to. Um, so I think action reverse was the lack of action in the past. Uh, maybe you were stuck and stagnant or somebody was intentionally keeping you stuck and stagnant. How would that resonate? But um, it's about to speed up soon, which will be action upright. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. That's beautiful, my dear. Just saying. Spirit messages you have accepted. Acceptance reverse number four could be a very significant number in your life. And 43, 4 and 43. It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social number, 443. Through many shocking series of shame events, someone will form a deep connection, bond with someone through this. Some platonically, some it will be more down the line if you allow it. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I heard um, through many shocking series of shame events, um, Someone is going to form a bond through this, through this, um, some kind of connection in the universe where your life's about to speed up in a very positive way. Um, you go through bad self. For some, I heard um, it's going to be platonic connection. So, you know, platonic is, um, it's not sexual in nature by any stretch. It's um, a positive platonic connection. So good communication skills, good um um, good communication, positivity between these people. Um, you feel you can openly communicate with the person and they can openly communicate with you. There's no judgment zone there. There's no, um, you're not close minded. You're not, it's like a judgment free zone. Like you feel you can just communicate whatever you want to communicate, which is, that's beautiful energy. Um, when I'm around people, I hope I project that. I really hope I do, um, because that is truly how I feel. I don't judge anybody, but, um, I've been judged a lot in my past, a lot. Um, but I don't judge anybody, but, um, but I hope I project that out to the universe is what I'm saying. But whoever you are, you, it sounds like you're about to project this out in the universe and it's going to create a very platonic connection between at least one person in the universe. For some, it could be two plus. And for some, I mean, for at least one of you guys, it sounds like a platonic connection. One of these platonic connections might turn into more down the line if you and this other person allow it. So it's going to, whatever this is, for, uh, for some, I feel it could be two plus connections. And I'm serious about that. But some kind of positive connection uh, or connections 
is going to turn in a good turn the wheel in positively for you is what I'm trying to say and it's going one of these per person or people might be romantically interested in you down the line um, or you might be in them or it might be mutual but it sounds like you're going to have such open and positive communication skills there that it might be mutual um, it most certainly will be mutual but there will have to be a lot to be worked out it most certainly will be mutual, but it, there will have to be a lot to be worked out. So it will be mutual, but it will, it will have to be a lot to be worked out. So um, if you feel that might resonate with you, just know it will be mutual, but there will have to be a lot to be worked out. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So that's the shocking series of train events. But that sounds like it's coming down, like down the line, down the line, like not any time in the near future, um, like down the line with the. Hey, do you want to date? Hey, do you want to be my boo thing? Hey, blah, 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 like romantic scale. Sounds like it's going to, for some, it's already turned positively platonic because I heard the action for some has already occurred in the universe. For some, it's about to. So for some, I feel the platonic connections have already occurred. For some, they're about to. Um, how that resonates? But shocking series of shame events there. Um, posi uh, possible. Love connection down the line if you and this other person allow it. So, of course, you know, with love connections, it has to be mutual on each end. It has to be mutual on each end because there is a thing called rape. Just saying, just saying. So, just FYI in that. You know, don't do anything crazy. Just saying, just saying. But whoever this is for, it's, um, it's very positive. I'll tell you that. It's very positive. Um, that's beautiful. Beautiful. I use my word. Beautimus. Someone is about to get their life together very, very positively and quickly. Some, they're about to receive a very large cash infusion to do this settlement. Some, a payout. Some, through employment. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So, some of you guys are about um, to get your life together in a positive sense. I feel like moving or home decor or redecorating or something to make your home space more suitable to your needs or wants or likes or what have you i i want to do that i that has been on my bucket list for forever when i can get the money up to do that and i'm serious about that it is so on my bucket list you just have no idea it is so on my bucket list um for me but you know i'm i just speak for myself you only you know your story not anybody else but some of you guys are about to receive a large um, settlement, some uh, payout, some uh, employment check. So um, cash infusion energy, some from a large settlement, some from a payout, some from employment compensation. So um, it sounds like you're going to use that money to redecorate your space or build something or something to do with your home space in some shape, form, or fashion. However, that resonates. Um, that could be the unexpected too. Um, maybe you're going to do something. Maybe you get a creative burst or juice and create something funky, wonky, cool dude. Cool dude. Like funky, wonky, awesome in your home. And people are like, whoa. Um, just saying. That's cool. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Okay, we're moving on. All right, so acceptance reverse. Once this occurs, someone is going to be very, very, very angry that these positive things are happening for you. But just focus on the ones that matter. Okay, I heard once this occurs, some, somebody's going to be very, very angry that these positive things are happening for you. 
but I heard basically just focus on the ones that matter. So accept is reversed in this, this sense. Of course, you have to plug these person or people in your life how it resonates. They don't want to accept the fact that you're progressing in life. You're leveling up. You're progressing in life or whoever this is for. I feel you're maturing or you are mature. However, that resonates. Um, I do feel maturation energy in here, whether you are maturing or ma already mature. Um, and it's beautiful. It's, it's really beautiful energy, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, but um, someone or some people in your life is not going to want to accept the fact that you are leveling up in life. I feel emotionally. Um, I do. And I feel financially, too, emotionally and financially. Um, in other ways, you're leveling up, um, and whoever is going to be not at one to accept it, it's going to be jealous and pissed and malicious, well, maybe malicious, they're definitely going to be jealous and pissed. They're definitely going to be jealous and pissed. They're not wanna, going to want to accept the situation, but I feel they are let lower on the tonal pole than you in maturation is what I'm trying to say, because if you cannot accept the fact that somebody is doing well financially in life, and that they are progressing in a positive way in life, then you are, that person is definitely not a mature person. If they cannot accept the fact that you are doing well in life, then they're not, they're not mature. And I'm serious about that in any shape, form, or fashion, because if they were mature, they would be happy for you and they would go out and do it themselves for them. Besides sitting there dwelling on a jealousy and hate towards you. And I'm serious about that. If, um, if anybody needs to hear that, I'm serious. So they're not going to want to accept it, but it's not up to them to accept it. It's your life. And I'm serious. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. I hear that um, Bon Jovi song. It's my, wait. It's my life is now or never. Something, something live forever. Just saying. It's my life all right let's see if we can get another song A particular air sign masculine partner is about to surprise them. Shock. They want a divorce. It's about to shock the hell out of them. And hurt them initially, but they know in their head it's the best thing for them. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Okay, so air sign energy. Um, you could be the air sign energy where your partner um, is going to shock you with a divorce. Um, or you could be the person wanting the divorce from the air sign masculine or somebody connected to these people. Um, this is taking forever. But we have um, air sign masculine energy in here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine energy. Um, they are legally married, whoever this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is, uh, masculine. They're currently legally married, but I heard their partner is about to basically blindside, uh, blindside them with a uh, wanting a divorce. And I heard it's going to shock the hell out of them. Uh, maybe it's you, Gemini, I leave Aquarius, masculine dude that's legally married. I'm not sure. Um, possibly you plug it in how it resonates, but I'm pulling you in very strong. But I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. Your partner, your married, legally married partner is about to tell you they want a divorce. Heard it's going to hurt you a little bit at first, but it sounds like you're going to quickly get over it because you're going to realize this is the best thing for you. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. You're not only Aquarius masculine energy. Whoever you are, you're, somebody's about to get blindsided. Um, you are air sign masculine. Gemini not only Aquarius masculine. Hopefully you watch this before it happens so you can chill it, chillax a little bit before it happens. Um, that's a big ass thing. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. I've been through a divorce before. It can be done. Trust me. It can be done. Um, you move on. You move on and usually happier. Um, I can't speak for anybody else, but I'm just saying, usually happier. Just saying. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, dude. Legally married, dude. You're about to get blindsided 
your legally married spouse is about to blindside you with a divorce. Um, but I heard you're going to realize um, you're going to be shocked at first, hurt at first, but then you're going to realize it's the best thing for you. So whoever you are, you are in control of your emotions. I feel you. Uh, I feel you are mostly in control of your emotions. I don't feel you're emotionally all over the place uh, because I heard you're going to get it in check soon. Or maybe you just wanted to get out of the divorce a hell of a long time ago, and maybe you've just been secretly miserable inside, and it's like your way out. And you're like, oh, hell, I can get out. I'm free. How that resonates. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Just saying. But you're, you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter. You're a dupe. Whoever you are, spouse about to shock you, blindside you with a divorce. How that resonates. That's why I never want to be legally married again. And I'm serious about that. Uh, committed relationship, yes. No legally married. Okay. That's just me. I can't speak on anybody else. Okay, so Planet Zero shine that by Shine Down. Planet Zero by Shine Down. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. All right. I love you guys. I'm getting out of here in 26 minutes. Love y'all. Namaste.